Hi guys and welcome to scrapbook inspiration and ideas video. Anyone else have way too much time on their hands these days and you don't know what to do with it? Well, a good way I've been passing time is scrapbook and journaling. So if you're feeling stuck on where to start, no worries, I've got you covered. Everything used in this video will be linked down below from washi tapes to label printer and fun journaling supplies and stick to the very end for a very special onesie giveaway. That's right, I listened to you guys in my last video, so stay to the end to see how to win. All right, let's get on into it. So here are some materials that you might want. First and foremost, I ended up getting this little notebook off of Amazon. It comes in three different sizes, a smaller one, a medium one, and a larger one. This medium one is actually completely sold out, but I went ahead for this video and just used a smaller one. If you're into big, large, canvassy scrapbooks, then I recommend the big one. But if you want something a little more simplistic, the small one will do just fine. White pens are a must. They look absolutely great on this kind of paper. Here are some of my favorite. And the Posca pen, highly recommend. Here's a really fun little Polaroid gadget so that you can take all of your digital pictures and actually bring them to life. So check this out, I absolutely love it. You can just print out any pictures that you have hiding away on your phone right to your scrapbook. I also like to use washi tape, some accent colors and glitter pens. And the fun thing about scrapbooking is you literally just use anything that you have, it's super cheap. So go ahead and grab scraps, receipts, magazines, your favorite stuff. That's why it's called scrapbooking for a reason. It's supposed to be super inexpensive. So just literally use anything that you have around. Micro fine liners are the best. They don't bleed, they don't smear. I recommend a 0.2 and a 0.5. This little roll-on glue, it is absolutely amazing. It doesn't make your paper all bumpy and icky. Highly recommend and nothing is super sticky. So I like it. This wax seal, I absolutely love it. You don't need it, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, just take a look at this. And then a little print labeler. If you don't enjoy your handwriting and you just kind of want to keep it very scrapbooky, this is a thing I highly recommend. By the way, if you're new, consider subscribing because you're helping feed my dog, Jupiter. So I've actually come to realize that planning makes me nervous. So I find myself being an overachiever and this year for me is all about being in the moment and that to me is what scrapbooking is. I find that bullet journaling is a form of like productivity, you're goal setting, you're doing all these fun things and taking all of the pictures that are locked in your phone onto paper and it's a beautiful feeling. For the cover, I actually ended up using a bunch of washi tapes towards the end of this video but you won't see that in the beginning. I got this little cardboard cutout star put 2020 for my little print labeler and then I used my wax sealer that is the smell of cinnamon and I put a little daisy on it. It's gorgeous. So this first prompt is called Happy Memories. And I wanted to kick this page off with just pure joy. So this is actually the modern day way to have all your pictures from your phone not locked away, but instead in a more traditional way. So I started by using a little stamper and writing happy memories, some little smileys, kawaii faces, and then that's pretty much it. That is my first page of the scrapbook. For scrapbook prompt number two, I decided to do quarantine diaries because hello, last year was one of a year. So why not reminisce on the good, the bad, and the ugly? The fact that we all gained weight, unless you lost some weight, let me know down below. So here's a little life hack. If you don't wanna ruin your pictures, then you can get these little photo mounds that stick onto the notebook. And then if you're indecisive or you simply wanna switch out the Polaroid, shabam. For this one, I just printed out a bunch of my favorite pictures from my phone that were locked away. The very first memory, which was building my own library. It was such a fun project, absolutely loved it. I took time to unwind. I read a ton of books, I actually created this entire library. I have a ton of videos on this channel and over on the vlog as well with it. Uh, I started Bible journaling, which was super fun. I grew closer to God and I started reading a lot more. So it's always fun to just kind of look at all of your memories, just looking back and saying, hey, there was some moments of joy. I added some fun little stickers and washi tape and we called it a day. So here's another really fun little hack for scrapbooking, a great way to upcycle and recycle old books before they end up in the trash and a fun way to decorate your pages if you're short on stickers or decorative tape. Check this out, grab some tape, place it over an old book and the letters come right off. It's like magic, giving your page a little more of a stylistic feel. I actually use double-sided tape so I could just stick the color off and then just tape it right onto the scrapbook. I also use little white pens to make the papers a little more minimalistic with little sketches on the side. We moved back from LA to Orlando and I spent a lot of time nurturing my passions. And another fun little journal prompt is to actually write a letter to your future self. With the cute little envelope, I used the wax sealer. It was a disaster. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Because I didn't buy the right wax. Buy the right wax. I will link it below for you. It was a fun experience. <laughs> 
but my paper almost burned. Then I just wrote a little letter to myself, which I won't really know and you won't either because I will open it up in 2022, people. I think the idea of writing a letter to your future self might seem a little bit creepy to some, but to me, it's actually quite special. It's a way of showing my future self, hey, we're gonna do great. We made it. If you're interested in learning how to make your notes look more aesthetic, be sure to check out this video after you're done watching this one for ways to take more aesthetic notes. I will link it down below as well, or you can click right over here after this video is done. If you struggle with your calligraphy skills, just remember that as you stroke up, it's supposed to be light. And when you do the strokes down, it's supposed to be thick. These zebra midliners are absolutely amazing. They're specifically for calligraphy and they're beautifully shaded in a beautiful pastel color. They have a great tip, very flexible and super beginner friendly. So if you don't really know how to do calligraphy, they're gonna be your new best friend. For more tips on calligraphy, be sure to check out my calligraphy video. All you really have to do is just go down to give it that faux calligraphy lip. And so a little tip is to keep a box somewhere in your room to drop all of the little scraps and goodies that you perhaps wanna use in your next scrapbook session. I was looking into the history of moleskin. The reason why their papers are not super white, but they're kind of like a creamy color. When you're looking at a completely white paper, you kind of blank out completely. But with papers like these and a little bit more of a creamy color, you become more creative or so they say. For my next page, I honestly just took a bunch of papers, put them together, cut them up, pasted them on top of each other, overlaid them, threw in a little bit of stickers. And and something really fun is if you have any kind of metallic pigment ink or literally any ink of your choice, literally take your fingertips and then just kind of get fancy with it all over the paper. It's fun, it's therapeutic, it's messy, and it's awesome. Next page, I did something a little fun. I decided to do something that I am a huge believer in, which is you don't have to post it to prove it. And I actually started this little challenge on Instagram called hashtag digital detox day. A huge thank you to Zoella for inspiring it. For the next page, I just took more scraps, pasted them everywhere, threw on a background color, kind of gave it an illusion. A little tip is when you're cutting out the paper, cut it from the opposing side so that you get that nice little rip as opposed to the other side where you aren't gonna get any kind of rip. So doing it that way gives you this really fun little tear effect. Something to stylize the text a little bit more is to just print it out and then cut it and then just add space between each line and it gives this little fun effect. If you'd like to join the digital detox challenge, be sure to check out more over on my Instagram. And here are some fun people that have done it and some of their little cute little testimonies. Thank you guys. I love it. And here's a little walkthrough of the finished journal. I know this was so therapeutic. Remember that you do not have to be perfect. It's not as expensive as other forms of journaling. In my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. You could just use any kind of scraps and it's kind of like a walk down memory lane. By the way, we do have a new worksheet available for you to download. This is perfect for adding your goals this year. I will leave the link down below. And while you're at it, check out the other nine worksheets that we have for absolutely free. All you have to do is just download it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's all right. It just kind of shows me what you're into. And I just want to give a huge shout out to the giveaway winners from my last stationary video. So if you applied, here you go. Applied, it's like you're applying for college. Not really. Okay, here we go. This is for all my stationary lovers. So giveaway winner number one, I saw your text, girl. I saw you. So Jen Rochi, congratulations for giveaway number two. Daniela, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And for my international girl, or boy. It just happened to be a girl. Bernadette, Bernadette. Where are you at? Somewhere around here. You are the international winner. So thank you guys so much for applying. If you end up recreating any fun scrapbooks, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I love to see it. Now for the ones you give away. So here it is. So I saw a lot of comments in my 24 hours in my art room video that you guys really liked my onesie. Thank you very much. I know you wanted it, so here you go. If you'd like to win, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what videos you wanna see and let me know what video made you come across my channel. And that's it, it's that simple. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I feel like I'm holding a baby right now. <laughs> This video was super fun, Ready. uh, chill to do. This year, I just wanna have a lot of fun with my channel, honestly. I definitely feel like over the past few years, I've been doing a lot of things just for like views. It's just no fun to do life that way. And so I really just wanna do things that you guys want to see, but of course that I also want to do. So if you have any suggestions at all or anything that you'd like to see from me, let me know down below. If you are interested in seeing more of me, I also have a vlog channel, Natalie and Dennis. I will link that channel down below. I love you guys. I'm sending you lots of love, good vibrations, and I'll see you guys in the next one.